So today I've got my hands on a brand new budget TV box. So this is the new H96 Mini H8. And guess what guys, it's priced only 25 pounds. And for that low price, you've got a quad core powered CPU. It's the Rockchip RK322A along with the Mali 400. You've got two gigs of DDR3 RAM and 16 gigs of internal storage. You do have dual band Wi-Fi with 100 megabyte LAN, Bluetooth version 4. This is running full Android version 9. You've got HDMI version 2.0 and apparently it does support 4K HDR at 60 frames per second. And it comes with a standard infrared remote. So quickly show you what's inside the box. So you get a user manual, HDMI cable. I've got a UK power adapter. And here is the actual power supply and the voltage is 5 volts, 2 amps. This also comes with a standard infrared remote control powered by two AAA batteries and the TV box itself. Now the box is made from plastic. You've got this shiny finish with the H96 Mini logo engraved, which you can kind of just about see when the light hits it. And you've got this lined design at the front with the 4K logo. On the front, you've got, on the front, you've got an LED display. On the side, you've got two USB 2 ports, um, an AV port, 100 megabyte LAN, HDMI 2.0, and a power socket. And if we keep going, there's nothing on this side. And that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the box looks like. So a very underpowered basic box. You're only getting two standard USB 2 ports, a low powered rock chip processor, only two gigs of RAM with 16 gigs of storage. So quite outdated specs with a new chipset um, and it's priced only £25. So how good is a £25 TV box going to be? That is what we're going to find out in this video. So without any further ado, I'm going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card. And we are going to put this little mini to the test and see what it's all about. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test. And this box took 54 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is the home screen. So we have a bunch of large icons which are fixed and cannot be changed. Also, there is no navigation or status bar available for this home screen. And as you can see, we do have a plus sign at the bottom, which lets you select your favorite apps to appear in this bottom row of favorites. Now, if we head over to the main system settings and go to device preferences and check out the system storage info, you will see that this box has 16 gigs of internal storage from which you have 12 gigs free to use. And if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this box is running full Android version 9 Pi. So yes, an older version of Android in this box. Other features to mention, we do have HDMI CEC with a few extra options here, letting you select your device to auto power off and turn the TV automatically on. Apart from that, you've got all your usual Android settings. Now let's have a look at the complete system apps. Here are all the apps available on this box as standard. I have not installed anything yet and you have quite a few apps to get you started, including Google Chrome, You've got Kodi, Netflix, YouTube, and of course the official full version of the Google Play Store. So you can download all your favorite games and apps. Now, the first thing we're going to test is screen mirroring. This box does come pre-installed with AirPin Pro, which is screen mirroring for iOS devices. And as you can see, that works absolutely fine with minimal lag. So this box supports screen mirroring for iOS only. No Android screen mirroring or mirror cast supported. So now I'm going to try playing some 4K video samples from a USB drive and I will be doing this with the included RKMC media player. So let's begin with the usual high bitrate jellyfish demo. So the first file 160 megabits per second. You can see it's lagging like hell. Um, it cannot support high bitrate. Next up we're going to test 4K at 60 FPS and it is our usual demos that we play and you can see straight away it's struggling to play 4K 60. So this box struggles when playing 4K samples from USB. But on the other hand, 1080p videos work absolutely fine from USB with no issues. What? I need a song. I got it. Yeah. Now let's move on to the YouTube tests. And again, let's forget about trying to stream 4K on YouTube. It's definitely not happening. And 1080p at 60 FPS does work. But as you can see, we have frame drops. Now Netflix did come pre-installed and ready to use, 
but unfortunately you are limited to SD quality that's 480p streaming on Netflix. Oğul, güçlüsün, mertsin, yiğitsin bilirim lakin münasip olan senin obada kalman. All right, so moving on to the gaming test. Um, we are limited to a Mali 400. So let's see how it performs. So both games are basically unplayable, the graphics chip just cannot keep up, you're getting plenty of frame drops and lag, it's a total mess, but this is what I expected from the old Mali 400. Now moving on, for you advanced users, DRM info shows Google Widevine level 3, and I just wanted to show you how long it took just to open up DRM info. And here is CPU-Z where you can check out the clock speeds. You can see it is indeed running the Mali 400. This box is running Android version 9 and does not come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test, we achieved download speeds of 21 and upload speeds of 18 megabits per second. So typical top speeds we get in our office is around 61 download and 18 upload. So quite disappointing Wi-Fi speeds. And here are the results for the internal disk speeds. We achieved a not so impressive read speed of 31 and write speeds of 22 megabytes per second. So that brings us to our benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench multi-core score of 84. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 10K. So let's see how this compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box chart for 2022, showing you the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. So as you can see, the new H96 Mini H8 has taken position 17 on this chart with a rating of one out of five. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the H96 Mini H8. Now I have never ever come across a TV box with this many cons. I'm sure my video is self-explanatory. You guys know exactly what I think of this box. Even at 25 pounds, I would not recommend it. I would rather get a Fire TV Stick Lite instead. Any questions, you guys know what to do. I hope this video helps you make your decision. If not, you can check out my latest TV box charts. All relevant links can be found in the description box. Also, a follow on Twitter and Instagram would be amazing. And if you have not already, do sub to the channel for more innovative cool tech videos. That's all for this video. I'm Chiggs, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.